guys welcome back to evolving butterfly goddess with me mona cole here we are all about evolving out loud in our life our money and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors i want to thank you for your likes your comments your shares and your subscribes here on the channel it's always appreciated and a major shout out to all the channel members as well as the members over on my website thank you thank you thank you for your continued support as well as to the members over on patreon thank you for your support my loves if you're interested in extra content um, personal readings or any other sessions that I offer check out the links and things down below um I've been having more people asking me about sidereal birth chart readings and I they've been available for members I may make them back available publicly for non-members I don't know I'm still thinking on it I've been thinking about it but um members they are available in the membership area all you have to do is just let me know and i'll send you the link to it and you'll be able to book from that so this energy um this is a 12 12 and a one to one angel number message and i decided to group both of them together because the energy felt very close um a member had requested 12 12 and i feel like another member requested one to one so i was like yeah it definitely goes in together and so this energy, um, when I was first getting on here, um, channeling into the energy, I was hearing Big Sean's, ain't nobody finna do me any type of way. Ain't nobody finna do that. Ain't nobody finna do me any type of way. Ain't nobody finna do me dirty. No way. Okay. Um, but then also just the energy of someone feeling like they can do you better than you. So it may be like, I won't even say like a doppelganger energy but it's like someone who they're trying to do you better than you. So like they may be um, taking on like some of your mannerisms or trying to like make decisions that you're responsible for making or something of that nature. Like someone I'm getting this vibe of someone wanting like your position to do you better than you in some kind of way. But it's not going to work. It's not going to happen. It's something about with this energy and their energy not being fully authentic um, for them to not be able to prosper with the things that they're trying to do, okay? And it's because you've been ordained with a particular, like, job in this season of your life. You've been ordained with a particular job that you've been called to do. And with this job that you have been called to do, it's like others may feel, like, intimidated by it. Um, because 12 is a number of like spiritual authority, leadership. It deduces down to a three, which is communication, perception. And then 12, 12 deduces down to a six, which is structure, protection, um, order, planning. And it gives this energy of you've been prepared for this time. Like you've gone through the fire to get to where you're at, to be able to make the decisions that you need to make, to be able to. Um, stand in the position of authority that you're standing in but someone else who has not done that they feel like they can do you better than you like it's like someone trying to like judge you against them but it's no comparison like <laughs> it gives me that vibe of you can't compete where you don't compare and it's like this person just needs to be in their lane with whatever it is they're doing or they feel called to do okay um, let me see if it was another piece of the channel message with this one. Can't nobody do you better than you. Can't nobody do you better than you. And then someone being intimidated by your strength and your skills. That was the other piece that I wrote out for it. So I started um, writing this one out yesterday. So someone is intimidated by your strength and your skills. And so it's like with that intimidation, they either like try to become it or try to like one up it or they try to like tear it down or they try to like um, it gives you the energy of like critiquing. But like their critiques is not valuable feedback like. It's not um, feedback that'll help you do better. It's kind of like just feedback that make you feel like what you did is wrong. But it's like good feedback gives like feedback and then it gives suggestions for edits. You get what I'm saying? Um, 
it doesn't just say, uh, I don't like that. The way you just did that, it was that. Like, they're just trying to beat you down in that way. They're just finding something wrong with something versus giving a suggestion with something, okay? But I'm getting the vibe of they don't have it. I don't want to use a sec. They don't have it in them to even do half of what you do and half of how you do it. So it's just like they got their nerve, okay? This person has their nerve. They have their nerve. They have their nerve. We're going to get into why and then we're going to pull what signs it is, okay? So why is they like this? You're, you're a magician, magician at the bottom of the deck. You have, they know you have this like divine authority, this divine power to you um, because you learn how to tap into your magic. You've learned how to tap into your powers, okay? And you don't look for your powers anywhere else or outside of self. You've learned how to tap into it within yourself. So with that, with this magician energy is given a vibe of someone being in a way, a little jealous of it, you know, because you're so confident in who you are. You're so confident in what you know. Ooh, make sure I got no toothpaste on you. Okay. You're so confident in what you know. You're so confident in um, what you express, how you express it. And this person doesn't have that same confidence. So they find themselves being intimidated when you stand in your power. It's like you being in your power is intimidating them. Okay. Because they know you're a magician. Yeah, you got seven of swords um, right after that. So this energy, it's like, they may be intentionally trying to do things to like sabotage in some kind of way or wanting to try to sabotage or wanting you to feel like less than in some kind of way. OK, why is this person like this? Because they really look up to you because I just heard. Um, I just heard Nicki Minaj. All these bitches is my sons. OK. So it's like someone who looks up to you and they have a weird way of showing it. Like they have their own little childhood trauma situations that's going on that they haven't dealt with. And so you're just like a victim. Yeah, you got the star card in the reverse. This person hasn't found their divinity yet. And so in them seeking it, they want to seek it through your energy. You get what I'm saying? And so they try to do you. Like they're not their own individual star with this Aquarius energy. So they feel like they have to become someone else's star in order to get that same thing, that same response back. You have the nine of wands that's coming out. They have a lot going on in their life right now. They're not liking how things are going in their life. Things feels very heavy. And it's something about when they look at you, it looks like you just do things so good and so effortlessly, okay? And they want a piece of that. Yeah, they feel like it's going to help them build and develop themselves by tapping into that. You have the Page of Pentacles coming out. This gives me a novice energy. This person is new to something. So they may be just trying to find themselves as well. They may be still just trying to find themselves. This person is still trying to find themselves. They're a novice at it. But they want to be able to build something, but they don't know how to because of everything that is on them. What signs is this? I'll take the actual signs in the houses. I just realized all of the lake is thawed out now. And that water moving fast, honey. All right. What are the signs? All right. We have Leo. Virgo. Pisces. Aries. Spirit, give me two more. Sagittarius, give me one more. Sign or a house, give me one more. That's Leo again. I already said Leo, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Spirit, give me one more. Sagittarius again. One more. Virgo again. <laughs> ah, we 
getting the repeats. I'm hearing not you again. Pisces again. Dang. Spirit, give me my mom. Aries again. <laughs> not the signs and the houses literally have come out for every sign I have pulled already. Literally, the houses have come out with every one of the signs that I pulled already. Spirit, give me one more. You have cancer. So those are the signs that may be connected into this energy, okay? Let's get into what is your advice. The first thing I look, I see the opposition with the balance and then communication. Um, I'm getting, keeping yourself have open communication, stay balanced internally, because it's not, you're going to run into this. You're going to run into this type of stuff. Especially if you're called to like lead like a department or something like you're meant to be around like a bunch of people, you're going to run into this type of thing. Okay. There's always going to be people who are newer, people who, you know, don't quite understand or get something just yet. And it gives this vibe of where they say imitation is a form of flattery. Hmm. This person is like motivated and flattered. But this is how they show it. So don't take it too personal or internally. Let them be them. You have the tower coming out. Yeah. What's with this tower, though? I'm hearing comes to light. Because I don't know why as I look at this card and I set it down under this star card. And it looks like these lines matched up with each other. With this line going from the tower up to wrangling the star. It's something about someone pulling something down and they're going to so they're going to have to learn a lesson. OK, long story short, they're going to tug on some energy or tug on something that doesn't fully align and it's going to cause some form of destruction. But with the cause and destruction is going to help bring balance to them. This person just needs to identify and find themselves in a lot of ways. It's a butterfly effect. Effect. It's a butterfly effect. A effect. Time to change some energy. Change some energy. Time to check your energy. Check your energy. I'm checking my energy. Working on the enemy. No longer focused on the enemy. My energy clean, my prosperity, it's already in me, it's in me. <laughs> All right, we have 9898. And I pay attention to the energy around you. You may find yourself receiving a surprise really soon that you weren't expecting. So stay positive. You will be caught off guard. So prepare best you can. Some of you, I feel like this is a good surprise. Um, this is going to be someone reaching out to you, sharing something with you on like appreciation for like what you do. I'm getting like a staff appreciation energy. Um, someone doing something because of how much they appreciate you. Let's see what this surprise energy is about. It's different surprises, so I'm not gonna go into like what the surprise is that's personal reading stuff but let's go into the energy of this surprise and allow you to use your intuition for the process some of you all you just need to wait for it to happen and just be open to it because sometimes you know what it makes me think of because i wrote this down too in my notes it was because in that song don't pray for success expect it and so in that song he he says i don't hope for once i expect it okay don't hope for a wind. Expect that it's coming. So it's something about you changing your energy and your mindset towards something and expect that good things and good shit are going to be happening for you versus paying attention to the other stuff that's not really all that 
that doesn't really even matter. Like, focus your energy on the good stuff. Focus your energy on um, the people who value you and your work and they see it for what it is. You get what I'm saying? And like this authority. Because I'm getting the vibe of you're attracting in someone of a certain caliber that's going to be helping you. You're tracking someone in from a certain caliber that's going to be coming in and helping you. And that goes very heavy with that 12-12 on like, you know what I'm saying? Bosses link with bosses. Okay? Yeah, you have the full card coming out. This is going to be something new. A new adventure is happening. And this is not for everyone because I'm telling you now, I know there's a lot of people who listen to a bunch of readings every day. And I'm telling you now, all those readings you listen to are not really your story. Okay? So definitely know how to use your intuition. But for those whose story this is your story, you know, because people like to, you know, make comments of, oh, I'm lying. That, well, if it doesn't align with you, then it's not your reading. You know, too many people be trying to make collective readings a personal reading. Like, ooh, child. All right, angel number 1212 appears when your spirit guides want you to know that you have been given divine authority and leadership over an area of your life. It is a reminder that whatever is written in the stars with your name cannot be taken from you by anyone. You are ordained for this position. Did we pull the star card? Yeah, we had the star card that pulled out during your reading. And so that is your energy. The star card is your energy. Let me go to one, two, one. Angel number one, two, one shows up when your guides want you to remember that you have an important job to do in this lifetime. You have more of an effect on others than you may know, and you are being called to walk more in your purpose and com with confidence and grounding. It is important for you to know that your input, that you impact your surroundings. Just don't let your surroundings impact you and your move. And that goes with what we were just saying with this 9898 with the end. I, okay. Um, as you pay attention to your surroundings and what's going on around you and the energy control where you allow your energy to go to, because two things could be right at the same time. Yes, there can be people who don't like you. They're hating, trying to copy, steal, whatever. Right. But there's also on the, at the same time, people who on the opposite energy of that and it's given the vibe of focusing on that because you have a greater effect on a multitude of people than you may realize okay you have the moon coming out take note of intuitive messages so any intuitive messages that you may find yourself receiving during this time baby take note of it write it down and that goes with Pay attention to the energy around you, okay? So whatever you're feeling, sensing, you know, we have the full moon coming up this week. Um, I am a sidereal astrologer, so the full moon is in Cancer. And that deals, we pull Cancer energy out as well. Um, emotions, that fourth house energy, that's opposition to Capricorn, which is on the finances and stability and reputation. A lot of feminine energy as well. So take it as it resonates, my love. If you're interested in a personal reading or any of my other services that I provide, check out the links and things down below um, in the description box. And I thank you all for being here. And as always, always be real. Always be true. Don't be afraid to do what your higher self and your spirit team is calling for you to do. Period. I love y'all and I'll see you later. Bye.